black yo magic 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 black yo magic that black yo magic Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, uh, this week's video is a one brand makeup type tutorial. I'll be using all MAC makeup. I know there's a couple of stores here in Nairobi, so I'm sure you can find the products here. So if you guys would like to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. Start with the brows. I have the MAC spiked eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to use this to like lightly fill in my brows. It's like a really dark brown shade. Scrub my mirror. The one thing I really, not that I hate about this product, is it's not as creamy as the rest of my other products, if that makes sense. Like it's a bit tough to work with, so it kind of makes it hard to like get the shape that I'm looking for, if that makes any sort of sense. So I'll just do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing, but just to bear with me, I use natural lighting. So now that my brows are done, I'm just gonna clean up underneath. I'm gonna use the MAC pot concealer in uh, NC45 and just clean like at the bottom. <laughs> Now, one thing I really love about this concealer is that it's very creamy and thick, like not in a cakey kind of way. Now that that's cleaned up, I'm just going to use my finger, put this all over my eyelid. I'm just going to use this like a, as a lip primer basically. Now the only problem here is that I really don't own any MAC face powder, so I have no idea how I'm going to set my eyelids. Should I even set them? But I need to set them. So I'm just gonna cheat a bit and I'm just gonna use another face powder. Be right back. Use my Sephora 8 hour match fine powder in the shade 50 mocha. Wow. I knew this would happen. This shit just shattered all over my bug. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. Now, the beauty about makeup is you can use them for whatever you want, basically. So I'm gonna use my bronzer, the mineral skin finish in dark deep. Such a lovely color, this is how it looks like. And I'm gonna use this as a transition because I don't have any eyeshadow other than just like one pigment. Okay, wow that's really close. So I'm putting this like on my cream, just building it, packing it on and then just blending it outwards. That way they're like no harsh lines. I'm then gonna go in with a blush. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one since it's like a lighter pink shade. In the shade, this is the shade tone blush. It's in the shade Blush Baby. Very, it's like a very light mauve pink shade. Now I'm gonna drag this just a bit down to my lid kidogo. Also, I'm only going to use one brush for this because I can't be bothered right now because the color tones are like all in the same range So you don't really need to switch up that much anyway. I'm gonna go in with this another blush Which the name isn't on anymore. I'm very sorry about that, but it's it's more like a deeper shade Day. go in with a pigment now this is very tricky because it's loose pigment very loose so it can get a bit messy that's why I, I'd advise you to like start with the eyes first because this is gonna have like a tons of loose fallout so this is in the shade tan by the way it's like a very nice champagne pink shade take a brush any type of brush but it's just a flat brush spray with like a little bit of fix plus and then basically just put this all over my lid Fix Plus, what it does, it just like pops the shade more and it helps the pigment like stick to your lids, if that makes sense. I don't know if the color is like coming out. 
shoot him with a rug. Mm. They're gonna go back in with the blush, the second blush, then just blend out the edge. Now this is gonna be like a very natural, like everyday type of makeup. But okay, that's it for the eyes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but very simple, very subtle, very everyday. I feel like you can drop this every day, maybe. It's very girly. Not that the eyes are semi done. I'm just gonna move forward to my face, and then you can move forward from that. So I'm gonna use the Mac Prep and Prime natural radiance this is how it looks like now the thing i love about this primer is that it has like tiny like glitter particles so it gives it this glowy radiant look you can even wear this on its own if it's very pretty so i really like that and it's very lightweight i like my primers when they feel like moisturizers if that makes sense i don't like the silicone ones because i feel like those ones like go into your pores Anyway, so I just blend that in, and as you can see, it gives you like a nice glow already. I really like this primer. I sometimes I wear it on its own because it's so pretty and nice. Just gonna cover up this little concealer. <laughs> foundations i usually mix i'm not let me just be really you guys i'm not a fan of mac foundations only because at the end of the day they tend to look like orange on my skin i don't know why it just doesn't look good after a long while anyway so i mix the two shades nc45 and nc44 i feel like nc44 is like my shade but i feel like it's cooler but the undertone on this one is more perfect so i use this for the undertone and i use this for the shade does that make sense hope so so i just mixed them both at the back of my hand and then I just dot this all over my face like I feel like after mixing it does give like the best shade for my skin so if anyone's out there and is struggling between the NC45 and 42 try mixing Plus about this MAC foundation is that the coverage is really nice. Mm. I can see my face with the pot concealer. I have the shade NC42. I feel like these are the best type of concealers ever. Only because of their thick texture. The only thing that sucks about filming with natural lighting is the lighting going in and out. So I'm very sorry about that in this video. So that's the difference when you apply concealer. It lights brighten up my under eye a tad more. Um, I'm then gonna bronze my face with the same bronze I used on my eyes. Kin mineralized finish in. I don't know if you can see this. Deep darkest. I'm not gonna contour anything because this is very light makeup. I wouldn't contour on a daily basis anyway, so. This is just to bring the color back to my approach. Blush baby, they're very light pink, a very mauve. I think that's what keeps the eye makeup. Another tip I'd give you is always use a blush that's closer to the eye look, so it like it sinks the whole look. Or if it's not the eye look, like try blending in some of that blush into your crease. I know that sounds crazy, but just try it, and it just gives the look a whole different take. I'm feeling washed out, but. I promise everything is a rock. I feel like now the blush is done. I'm gonna go back to my eyes. I'm gonna take the same bronzing color and put that like on my lash lash line. 
Now it's time for mascara before I put the highlight on. I'm gonna curl my lashes just like a regular lash curler. I don't do this a lot. Especially when I'm wearing lashes. Just be careful. So that's done. I'm just gonna put on mascara and this is the, the MAC mascara that looks like this. Like in the really funny bottle. And does like the writing all over it. Using, I'll write the name somewhere down here and everything I'm guessing is in in store. So. To like curl my lashes up to Jesus. Before I do the like the highlight, I'm gonna spray my face with Fix Plus. Like, if there's anything I'd have told you to like purchase from this whole video, it'd be this. I feel like this is one of the best products Mark has ever made. I use the Mark Soft and Gentle Highlight. Now this is a very champagne tone with like a bit of silver underneath, so. If you're not a fan of that, I'd suggest to go with more like the gold tones, but I love how this makes my skin look. Another tip, if you want your highlight to be hella popping, just spray some. Fix Plus on there, market liner in, in control, and chicory. I'm going to mix those two, and then on top of that, I'm going to use the lipstick in Velvet Teddy. <laughs> and nice but if you guys want to go ahead you can throw on some lashes if you want but i like the way it looks now i hope you guys enjoyed i leave every product that i use down in the description bar and just don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up if you did if you like this type of like one brand makeup type of tutorials i might do more in the future who knows thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one bye say bye bye Dollar that melanin, hocus pocus, baby. Hit me with the